What is up my adorable Sensi fans? It's Patricia and today I'm doing my empties for May. And May is a busy month because we're leading up to bring back my bars that come June 1st. So stay tuned at the end of the video. I have a question of the month. It revolves around bring back my bar, of course. So let's get into the empties. Let's go through the non-wax empties first. I won't talk a lot about these because we we revisit them often. But bathroom cleaner and sun-kissed citrus. I really like sun-kissed citrus in the bathroom cleaner and the all-purpose cleaner. I don't know why I really do. Just be aware, this is an old black nozzle. If you have one of these, sometimes the nozzle to switch it to on is very difficult to do. So I had to help my mom with that. All right, laundry. Of course, two <laughs> washer with small tubs in Fiji flower. I love this. I wish it would come back. Maybe someday, you never know. And what I use to pair with Fiji flower because I don't have the laundry liquid or the or they don't come in dryer discs. I use Palm Beach Breeze. So I recently picked up a bunch of Palm Beach Breeze items to pair with my remaining 12 of these. And I think what I might do is switch it up and use another one for a little while and go back to Fiji flower. All right, in the car, my husband used Coastal Strawberry Car Bar. This was okay. It's gentle, it's sweet, I don't know if it's uh, authentic to the wax, but I should dig out the wax and start warming it. Uh, the wax definitely has jasmine, which I like, but it's not my favorite strawberry scent. All right, maybe we'll talk oils. I finished two oils and then I have kind of like a womp womp. <laughs> so I finished up sea salt and grapefruit, which is retired. This is a really, really nice oil. It's even if you didn't like grapefruit, I think you'd probably like this. I think there's lemons and limes in it as well. Yeah, it's really tangy. I, I, I'd i drink it if I could. <laughs> Don't drink the oil. This one uh, is growing on me over time. It is Cotton Blossom Tangerine. So I looked this one up to see what the scent notes were, and it says Cotton Blossom and Tangerine. But you want to know the funny thing? I just put in Cotton Blossom. I didn't type in the whole thing because I'm often lazy like that. And it got me thinking to myself, if you're someone that uses oils and you don't know what to pair pair them with. So all I did was I typed in Cotton Blossom, and it gave me the oil, and then it gave me a bunch of other scents that have cotton blossom in them, such as lavender cotton, 100 acre wood, welcome little one. So you could diffuse this plus warm the wax. It would be very complimentary. Some other scents that I thought of would be um, coconut cotton, and I have something else written down, uh, sparkling magnolia. I think all would pair well with this. So you can do that if you want to in the same room or in adjacent areas, just something to think of with oil. All right. Now I haven't been having good luck with my scent packs. So I think I put this one in early May. It's clothesline. It was pretty good, but it didn't seem as strong as the clothesline in the past. And I remember this because I gave one to my daughter, the very first one we ever used, and she put it in her skating bag and man, was it strong. And it was strong out of the package, et cetera, et cetera. And this one I just felt was like a medium. So I, I hang this in my laundry room area in a closet. So then I decided, well, let me try another one. Arctic Kiss is pretty strong for me in wax. This one was a letdown. It smells really gentle here now, but I, I left it, this going the whole month and I f felt like I got maybe like five days of scent and then it was just almost nothing. And so then I opened Make a Splash, which I picked up recently. I didn't um, put that haul up. <laughs> Believe it or not, there's some hauls I don't put up. <laughs> there's actually more than what you see. But it was so light. And so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish up my scent packs. And I'm going to try not to buy any more. And I may try other things in that closet. If you have any suggestions, let me know. I, I might try my scent to go in there and just have to remember to go and turn it on a few times. I might try some scent circles. Yeah. So I'm not going to, I'm going to finish up my scent packs. And if I see really great deals on a scent pack, I might pick it up. But I'm in the, in general, I'm going to try not to pick up scent packs. All right, so I have four pods. I have sun kissed citrus. Uh, the other pods I forgot in my purse. <laughs> this is um, oranges, grapefruit, lemons, and limes. I like that scent quite a bit. It's a classic scentsy scent. Pretty good in the pods, about a medium. Fiji flower. I don't have the notes on this. Obviously, it's like a floral. Oh, it's like a perfumey, but not like alcohol perfumey floral, almost like a sweet perfumey floral. I love it. I can put the notes below for you. I have Mahalo Coconut. I think this is like floral Hawaiian lei and coconut. 
Yeah, I mean, there's nothing in here for scent now, but what I do is I start it in one of two areas. I either start in my laundry room or I start it in Drew's room. So if I have two sets of pods, like if I had two aloe water and cucumbers, I'd probably start them in Drew's room. But when the pod is really starting to fizzle out, I put it in a smaller area. The two smaller, like I take those two pods and I put them in either underneath my stairs where I keep like all my computer stuff and it's like a storage area, but I go in there all the time. And the other area is kind of like our hot water room, but there's a set tub in there. So we go in there sometimes. Now, this, the wall fan diffusers, I think they only use one watt of energy. Check on the bottom of them. I'm pretty sure it's one watt of energy. So I don't mind letting those run constantly in those areas because those areas are crappy areas to go into in your home. Like if you want to go into one of those areas, they normally smell stale and disgusting. Not at my house, they smell good. So anyway, the only other thing I, so my Hello Coconut is going under the stairs and it is doing phenomenal there. So always remember, and you can do that with wax too. Like if you have wax in an open layout and it just fizzles out, you don't necessarily have to throw it away. If you're trying to be frugal, you can move it into a smaller area and just let it live its life. <laughs> All right, aloe water and cucumber. This is um, aloe water, cucumber, palm fronds, and pineapple nectar. It's a nice one in pods, about a medium as well. So let's go into the wax. I got some wax here and I think what I'll do is I'll try to just grab all the recent stuff first. So going today, I have Magnolia Linen. This one's like fresh dried linen, Magnolia and Honeysuckle. It's funny, this one has been doing just okay in my open layout. I know you're probably thinking, what? This is usually a very strong scent, but just for some reason it's not thriving the past couple of days. So do really like it. I have more, so we're good there. I have a Paradise Petals. This is like Neroli orange zest and like white florals or blooms or something. Yeah, this one did really well in Ryan's room. I can't smell it here anymore. It's not a repurchase for me, but it was okay. In the jungle, let's do this. I just did Tester Tuesday on this. This one here, um, it's got like emerald palm leaves and it's got, uh, what else does it have? Let me look it up. Dewy Bamboo, that's right, and Exotic Blooms. This is a very green scent with a, I say special twist, but it's, it's kind of a sharp note. Ooh, it's a sharp, astringent note. It might be the emerald part of the palm leaves. Now this one starts off really strong and then it dies out. And it's funny, there's this big, huge dog when we walk to school. I, I should try to take a picture, but I don't want to look like a stalker, but he looks like a lion. And so we always say, is the lion out, is the lion out? So sometimes he's out and then like when I'm walking to get Ryan and then all of a sudden when I go, when we're leaving, like 10 minutes later, he's gone. <laughs> You're like, where did he go? And, and the scent is kind of like that. It's like, it starts off really strong. And then you're like, where to go, where to go, where to go, and I don't know, where to go, where to go, where to go, and I don't know. <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> I won't. I won't bore you with the other parts of the song. <laughs> this is what my sensey life consists of, making up songs to sense. But but yeah, it's it starts off really strong and then you're kind of like, Phew. but sometimes green scents are like that. So we'll get to another green one here. Uh, Sparkling Magnolia from the Mother's Day collection. I think this one is going away soon. But speaking of, there is a special, special coming on June 1st where you can pick four warmers, the four warmers of choice that you can pick from I believe are the, the classic gray, succulent, little garden, and the the one with the, I'll put the name below. It's got like the sun beams on the back. It looks like a little watering can. Anyway, then there's a group of bars you can pick from. You get five bars, but you only pay, pay for the price of the warmer. Excellent, excellent deal. So anyway, I'll check that out June 1st. But Sparkling Magnolia, I believe is one of the choices. This one, let me read you the notes because I don't remember. It's violets, magnolia petals, and a spritz of sparkling citrus. This was nice, but light for me. Like so light that I'm like, ooh. So I did really like it on scent appeal. I will pick up, I, I should say, I have another bar that I'll just let age for maybe like a year and then I'll, I'll revisit it. And they should they should have brought that one in the in the fragrance mist. That, they kind of missed their calling there. Summer Moonlight is a new release. This one has notes of strawberry, sweet pea, and sandalwood. And this is really nice. You got to kind of give it a chance and troubleshoot this one in your home. Because this one, if you if you warm it in a big zone, you're, you're probably not going to find it at all. And even if you warm it in a medium zone, you might 
struggle with it if you don't have really good hot warmers. But this one does really well because I tend to stick to hot warmers in my home. I found like it worked really well in my entranceway, Drew's room, um, the kids' bathroom, Erica's room. So I stick to those kind of spots for that scent. You want to set yourself up for success. Hannah Blazon always says that. And, and that's what I mean by pick a testing zone and then figure out where you're going to warm a scent. Don't take a brand new scent to be like, oh, I'm going to warm this in my open layout. Even though you think it's going to do okay, I wouldn't advise that approach. All right, this one <laughs> probably would do okay in an open layout. Uh, vanilla Waves. It's like a, a caramel um, salted, oh, yummy waffle cone on the boardwalk of the beach vanilla scent. Hmm. You get like whiffs of like a saltiness and you get like whiffs of a, of like a creamy golden caramel, but mostly vanilla and almost like this waffle cone in the background and a body care honeycomb in the background. Oh, so good. This is like, it's, I'm just going to give you a, a sneak peek. This is definitely making my top 12 of the scents for this year. Cause I've, I've really grown to love it. All right. Speaking of, I, I should have mentioned this before, whipped vanilla lavender from the Mother's Day collection. This one has coconut milk, whipped vanilla and lavender, and it's an English lavender. So they tend to use that if they want something to be a little stronger. This one is not my kind of scent. I really have grown to like um, Yankee's lavender vanilla. This one's just not for me, but so many people love it. And I would say it's about a medium level performer. Some people find it's not very strong, but I've got scent of the month coming up for June 1st. You're going to want to write this one down on your list, especially if you like cherry and if you like kind of like a fruity bakery and it's red white and berry pie so this one has ripened cherry and it has raspberry and it has vanilla now it's funny I can smell like raspberry and pie crust here today and normally I can't really smell those notes at all <laughs> okay so you know how when you're eating a pie so picture like a cherry pie and you've eaten all the pie and there's like little crumbs on the plate of pie crust but there's like that syrupy goo at the bottom of the plate and you're like licking off your fork because it's so good and it's sweet and syrupy that's what this reminds me of so it doesn't smell like a cherry and it almost smells like maybe artificial pie but just the sweet cherry goopy goodness that's what this is to me i love it it's really grown to i've really grown to love that one all right let's talk yellow from the chase rainbows collection this one is uh lemon and it has pineapple and what else? Grapefruit. Now it's funny, I can't smell it in here and this is a fairly strong scent so it's almost like the, the clamshells aren't, some of them aren't retaining the scent. But this is a really nice lemon scent. If you like lemon, you wanna try them all out and you'll pick one that you settle on. But I think I like this better than Squeeze Today. Yes, and I, I did pick up two more. So it's just that Squeeze Today is, you know, available all the time, especially in bricks. So I, I tend to kind of go with that one. All right, so the next empty I have is one from the summer collection, but I actually warmed all four. So normally I don't talk about unempties, but I'm gonna do that just to kind of give you a overall quick review because I didn't put these in Tester Tuesday. So the first one I have is cucumber and cactus water. And let me just read you the notes here. This one says crisp cucumber wades into refreshing cactus water and sea salt. So this one I found about a medium intensity. It was okay. The first year I warmed it, I could really smell like a saltiness, but that was kind of later. But earlier it was like, I was like, oh my gosh, it's like white tea and cactus revisited. I could almost smell like that pickling liquid smell that I didn't like. And I was like, oh no. But then I warmed it in two other areas. I warmed it, warmed it in Drew's room and I warmed it in the kid's bathroom. And I didn't get the weird pickly note from either of those spots. So I was like, yes. And it kind of reminded me of like summer rain has this earthy, not really salty component because there's like black lava salt, but whatever that note is in summer rain, I felt like it was in here. But this is like obviously a green, fresh, you know, crisp, invigorating kind of scent. Um, this is not my favorite. I think I prefer scents like sun, um, sunburst bamboo for the cucumber. I don't know. This was just okay for me. Let me just see if I want to add anything else. And on average, I left it going like two to three days, depending on where I was warming it. And I have strength and throw of a between seven and a half to eight in all three spots that I warmed it. So that is that. All right, the next one let's talk about is Feel and Punchy. <laughs> now, okay, I like this one, 
But man, oh man, there are a lot of people that do not like this one. So this is the controversial one of the bunch for this round, feeling punchy. So let's bring up the notes. It's a citrus scent and it says bright tangerine and pink lemon with a sweet splash of fruit punch. And that's what it smells like to me. It smells like a, it's almost like you took orange tang, crystals or orange tang, and, and mixed it with fruit punch. You know what? It reminds me of, there's this stuff at Walmart. It's like orange and tangerine and it's like the, I call it juicy water, but you know, those liquid water enhancers that you squeeze into the drink and that one my husband loves and it's always sold out and they sell it in small ones and big ones. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. Picture that with like a little bit of a fruit punch. I liked it and my daughter really liked it too. So uh, we're in the like weirdo, I don't, you know, really like it camp, but yeah, feeling punchy. I have um, this bar plus one more. I don't think I need to pick up more, but uh, I liked it. Let me just see what I have written down here. Not much. Strength and throw, uh, both areas at max was seven out of 10. It did a little bit better in um, Ryan's room because his, his Spider-Man warmer seems to be like slow to get going and then it kind of sustains the scent a little bit. But yeah, I would repurchase that one if I needed more wax, which I do not. All right, the next one, I let's talk about this one next, Peachy and Palm Trees. So this one was, I, I got, I meant to get two and I only got one. So this is all I have for this scent and this is all I'm going to need. So the scent notes are sweet peach and mango at a tangy twist of smooth coconut milk. Uh, I didn't really get coconut milk. It might have just softened the edges of the peach a little bit. This is a very, um, a, it's almost like you have peach ring candy and real peaches side by side and you're getting whiffs of both. That's that's what my brain keeps going back and forth with. And I think if you if you get the cat pea smell, there's a, t a tiny tendency, I think, towards that for me. So, and I don't even really get that usually. It might be the mango. I don't know. The mango plus the peach. Um, this one here, I warmed in Erica's room, seven, 7 out of 10. And I warmed it in my TV room, about 6 and a half out of 10. Um, it was just, uh, like, day one, it did fine. Day two, it was, like, mm, a little bit hard to smell. So, this one, even if I really like the scent, it was just an okay performer. And I don't really love this one. So, this is peachy and palm trees. It'll be a one and done for me. And last but not least, we have Kakui and Coconut. My little sticker's coming off. Kakui and Coconut. This one is, a, I, I like Sensi because this is a different type of scent, but it kind of mimics um, Sole de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream. I have that in the spray and I have it in the, in the cream. My daughter bought me the cream for Christmas. I haven't opened it. She's like, you better open it. I spend a lot of money on that. And I'm like, I know I'm kind of hoarding it. But anyway, but they, Sensi really missed the mark. They, they, should have put this in fragrance mist. Can you imagine how well this would have sold in fragrance mist? Do you know how much the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream <laughs> like in mist is? I forget what number it is, but it's it's expensive, like, you know, relatively. Um, but yeah, they, you know, I think it's like $9 US or $10 or $12 Canadian. Yeah, sign me up. I'd definitely be getting some fragrance mist. All right, so the notes are tropical coconut and kakui nut. Lounge on a bed of soft jasmine. So... Yeah, this is soft. I did kind of up my cube by one. So normally I put two cubes in my bedroom. I put three. And when I did that, it really, really lasted quite a long time. Now on the flip side, I put two cubes in my kid's bathroom and I could barely smell it. So like in my bedroom, it was probably like six, six and a half out of a 10. It felt like for days. And in my bathroom, I felt like it was like three out of 10. I don't know. I don't know why. <laughs> I have ceramic warmers, uh, two mini warmers in my kid's bathroom and it's a, a small little bathroom. So it just kind of goes to show troubleshoot and see what you think. But yeah, Sensi should bring this back just so we can get like room spray and fragrance mist. That's my, that's my opinion on that one. So I'd like to see that one come back. So let's go over some scents that are retired. I, I'm sorry, this is going to be a long video. So I warmed, this is probably one of my favorite things of the month, picked for you. This is lychee blossom and it has, what else? Honeydew melon and amber, white amber, which I think I really like white amber. This is so pleasant and it's very long lasting. So this was from the Mother's Day collection a while back. Really liked that one. All right, so let's talk about this one. Another surprise really like for me, Lavender Violet. I don't really like Violet a whole lot. <laughs> and I don't really like Lavender, but this is a really good one. Let me see, the notes are sweet spun sugar, which probably explains why I like it. Garden grown lavender, violet and marshmallow. So it's a little bit creamy, a little bit sweet. I, I really like this and I would love to see this back. 
So probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite lavender scent that I've smelled in a long time. So I don't really count a woolly slippers because to me that's more marshmallow vanilla. All right, here we have another floral. So my my melting this month was heavy florals, but, but not all, uh, Petal Pals. So this has rose petals, it has peony and marshmallow, I think. Yeah, this one has been growing on me. I, I detest rose, but the other notes in here kind of switch it up a bit and mixed with vanilla waves, this is really nice. And it's a, an excellent performer. All right, from the All Is Well collection, Vitamin U for Unwind. This one is an apple blossom kind of smell. Let me read it to you. Apple blossom, cucumber pe peel, and spa water. I don't really get cucumber peel per se, so I don't really like cucumbers like to eat in real life. And spa water, like, does that even have a smell? <laughs> I don't know. But but this was nice. Now there was a time in the warming that I could smell like almost like that um, acetone nail uh, polish remover, which you could tell I don't wear nail polish, but yeah. Uh, but that, luckily that didn't last long. So this one was uh, probably like a medium in terms of strength and it was just okay for me. The next one was Together Forever. Beautiful, vibrant colors, apple, strawberry, and sweet pea. I feel like there's, there might be rose in here, a little bit of rose or peony. I betcha, I betcha, if we ask Sensi really nice, they would admit it. Yeah, so I think this is quite floral with a little bit of fruit. It implies that there's a lot of fruit with a little bit of floral, but I would say the other way around. Uh, from the All's Well, vitamin M for Meditate. This is the, the lavender one. It has sandalwood and nut, nutmeg, spicy nutmeg. Oh, no. Uh, sometimes I was like, oh, maybe I like it. And then I was like, no, <laughs> I don't really like this one. No, the sandalwood is a little aggressive and so is the lavender. So not for me. Excellent performer though, of course. That's the way it goes. And this one is a big, big no. And, and it's funny, people say the word hard no. And when, when I, I had to look it up, because I'm like, that sounds like something that's like, it's hard to say no, but I'm going to have to say no. But it, it really means like, like no. <laughs> so that's Big Hero 6. So the notes on this are strawberry, wild raspberry, whipped marshmallow, and sweet sugar. Okay, so what this reminds me of is if you took those notes, but took away, take away the whipped marshmallow, because I don't really smell that. But imagine you had a, a cast iron pan that something had like burnt on the bottom and you forgot to clean it. And then you just decided to like throw in like strawberries and raspberries, not in a hot pan, but all that charred stuff got on them. That's what this smells like to me. And and I don't see why, like it's, that, it's very obvious like there's a burnt or something weird going on in here. And other people really like it. Well, some people. And some people smell something weird. So I don't know why some things smell weird to some people, but this one definitely smells weird to me and not in a good way. If you're one of the people that like it and it doesn't smell like charred grossness and a fire happens, then I'm happy for you. All right, so let's talk. Oh, let's talk about, oh, I forgot, I forgot to mention my <laughs> Scentsy Silk and Pink Cotton. Love the Scentsy Silks. I am going through them. Well, not like a mad woman, but we will probably go through more in the, in the fall, winter. But, but right now we're using sea salt and avocado and my husband's favorite pineapple coconut vanilla. So... All right, I forgot to tell you, I finished up a brick. I've been working hard to work on a brick each month. This one is probably one of my favorite bricks and it's fun fact, the brick I have the most of. But I still think Sensi needs to put this on their voting list because there's a hell of a lot of people that would love to see this back. So anyway, the notes are cardamom, cinnamon stick, grated nutmeg, steamed milk. So really nice, soft, um, kind of like a creamy, spicy cinnamon chai scent. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, let's, oh, one more thing, <laughs> because I'm not organized. <laughs> uh, orange, orange from the uh, Chase Rainbows. Didn't really like this one. Do I have the notes on this one? It's tangerine, orange slices, creamy vanilla. Doesn't smell like any of those things, except for there's like a, like a perfumey, uh, not very good orange to me, like almost like a, like a nail polish remover orange, but and sometimes I smell florals, so I'm not, I'm not really not sure why. All right, so we have some bring back my bars, some current, some not. So maybe I will do the some not first. All right, in my club, fresh cut daisies. This has like daisies, ivies, buttercup, grass, all that good stuff. It's like a green floral, very strong, excellent performer. I would give this the boomer classification. We have coconut cotton. 
This one's not a boomer, but it's it's pleasant. It's grown on me. I used to struggle with performance. This is basically like, it's got like a cotton, but it's got like this creamy coconut milk. I think there's like sandalwood and lemon, but I don't really get those per se, but it's just really nice and soft. If someone was coming to visit and you knew they liked a little hint of coconut and it was summertime and you had a guest bedroom with all these white, clean, crisp, fresh sheets, this would be nice to put on for them. As long as they liked coconut. Bora Bora Blossom. This one is very pleasant. It's funny, you always warm scents and they're like, you've already removed it from your cloud and you're like, oh, this is so nice. <laughs> but I think for me, Summer Moonlight um, is, is a close replacement. So this is Island Fruits, Orchid and Green Violet Leaf. It's very nice, not a strong, strong scent. In fact, I would say performance is maybe a little bit below average, but very nice. What I did was I kind of stockpiled some cubes and Ryan's Spider-Man warmer, which always seems a good approach in that warmer, and it did very well. All right, this one really, I have one more bar of this. It is a nice green, fresh, vibrant scent. It is Flower Shop. And the notes say something like going into a flower shop, and it, that is exactly what it smells like. Like when they give you those little packets of powder that you're supposed to mix with the water, and you're arranging all your flowers, and you can smell the greenery, and you're cutting off the stems. There you go. That's this. I would say it's more greenery and stems with less floral, um, notes but yeah oh so strong very fresh all right so i have three bars and an honorable mention that i'll just talk about so let's talk about this one first whoa <laughs> buckleberry didn't really like this one bursting fresh berries buttery crumbly coffee cake there's mostly berries they're somewhat tart or sour there's not a lot of sweetness in this there's not a lot of bakery in this and i get a weird back tone to this Performance is, I would say, medium, medium plus or medium in strength. I'd say medium. And maybe medium to medium plus in longevity. Because it's pretty good for a fruity scent in terms of that. But not good on scent appeal for me. Uh, the next one is an old, old bar of an Enchanted Mist. And the wax this year is like a pale whitish creamy. And this is like neon yellow. So I'm pretty sure there's something going on with this one. Juicy apples, ro rose, and jasmine. And I don't get any rose, which is really nice. I get the, the apples, and they're kind of like a golden, delicious apple. I, I called it a candied apple, but I, I couldn't think of what I was trying to say. But I think I watched a video from Robin, and she described it as like a yellow apple. And I'm like, yes, it's like a golden, delicious apple. That's exactly what's in that. Golden, delicious apple plus like jasmine for me. And it's a nice, fresh scent. It's like, but it's not overly strong. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to warm my new bar. I'm probably at least going to warm it in... The bathroom to compare when I'm warming it in the bathroom now so that I can give you my you know modified warm review and I have a special something for the bring back my bar warm review I hope you're gonna look I hope you're gonna like it so it's special twist I'm not gonna tell you it's not that exciting <laughs> anyway stay tuned I think it's the Sunday I'll probably do it the sun the last Sunday of the month so this one is one of my favorites love and happiness I'm not gonna say a lot about it I'm gonna tell you it has glazed chestnuts vanilla and sugar cane does it smell like that? No. It's got all these florals on it, so I bet you there's some florals. It came out in the fall and winter of, is it 2018? And that catalog ended March 1st, so it's a little different. But I'm thinking they kind of included this for the latter part of maybe the winter because of like maybe Valentine's Day. I'm not sure. But does it smell like glazed chestnuts? I don't know. It smells like the chestnuts are like a nutty, warm influence to a fancy, cozy vanilla scent. That's how I'm going to describe it. One thing I want you to think of, my bus driver is anti-scent, but the day I warmed this, she said, your house. She like she couldn't stop talking about the smell that was coming out of the house, and it was love and happiness. So if it wins over the bus driver, then you should definitely give it a try, even if you're just a little bit intrigued. Great performer for me. My bars are all aged well, <laughs> so I think this one ages very well and performs well the longer it sits. All right, now before we move on, my friend Patrice gifted me these two cubes and she loves this scent and it is Scentsy's Crumb Top. It says, the perfect blend of oats, butter, and brown sugar to top your favorite dessert. Well, guess what this scent needed? <laughs> Buckleberry needed some crumb top. It needed like a sweetness, a warmth, something a little bit to bakery it up and that's what Crumb Top would do. So I think Crumb Top, if you liked this scent, it would actually go well with another scent that's a little bit controversial, very peri pumpkin. But anyway, we'll have to vote back crumb top 
in region one and that way we can kind of use it as an accessory to certain baked baked goods so before we end off we're going to do question of the month and it involves bring back my bar it's a two-parter i want to know are you going to buy your bars early or are you going to buy them late in the month i also want to know i guess it would depend on how you answer are you going to buy your bars as a separate order or are you going to put them in your scentsy club and sample them out slowly over that way let me know your bring back my bar approach. I can't wait to read it in the comments. And if you have experienced any of these scents that I talked about today, feel free to comment down in the comments section how you made up with them. So thanks for spending the last few minutes with me. I really appreciate it. If you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe. You'll be notified when I post video content. Please take care. I hope you have a great day in your neck of the woods and I'll see you guys in the next video.